This is Susan from Lightscape at the opening evening gala of the Sports Museum of America in downtown Manhattan. The Sports Museum is the nation's first museum to bring together football, basketball, hockey, figure skating, you name it, under one roof. Noted sports figures who arrived for the evening gala included Oksana Bayul, the 1994 Olympic gold medalist in figure skating. Oksana was accompanied by Frank D'Agostino, producer and composer of Cold as Ice, a musical that she is currently in rehearsals for. So I asked Frank and Oksana to talk about Cold as Ice. This is Oksana, our yeah. star yeah. of Cold as Ice. Uh, it's a Broadway musical about ice skating and uh, three Olympic champions and how they become the champions. And Oksana is magical. She sings, she acts, she skates, and uh, we're heading to Broadway within uh, okay. a year. We're very excited about it. So. And it's not really about me. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Russian character, but it's not really based on her life. Really. What's the character that Oksana? What do you, who do you play? I'm playing, um, it's, it's, I'm playing myself because I can really describe it how it feels to get to the Olympics and how hard it is to be an Olympian, but I'm playing a Russian skater. Yeah, the, the character's name is Maya Slapova. <laughs> And are you going to more than skating? Are you? Yes, definitely. Well, that's much easier. It's much easier to sing. Yeah, it's it's a it's a, a, a legitimate musical. It's 60 pages of dialogue, 17 original songs, and it incorporates ice skating, dancing, acting, singing, all you know elements of the theater. And uh, we did a seven-week tryout this past summer, and Oksana was magical. We are probably gearing up for three large venues in December, and then a direct transfer to Broadway. Yeah, we're working with um, the legendary producer Angelo Del Rossi, formerly of the Tape Mill Playhouse, and five Broadway shows. And uh, the director, Philip McKinley, who directed Hugh Jackman and The Boy from Oz, will be directing Oksana in her starring role. <laughs> Oksana, can you tell me, how, how are you going to spend your summer? Training. I actually I woke up, I ran, um, like 45 minutes, and then I'm going to skate at Ice House in New Jersey where I live um, for an hour and a half uh, and then I swim around 5, 6 o'clock so that's how I spend the summer and I eat right, I like whole foods that's how I spend my summer and actually, that's how dedicated she is in the car today. She told me that she's training now for December, so that she has the stamina and the uh, strength to, you know, go with eight shows a week on Broadway. So that's how dedicated she is. Actor comedian Judah Friedlander was also very excited to see Oksana at the gala. Oksana is not only one of the best, but one of the hottest and a cool chick. And I've only met her for five seconds, but Oksana Bayul is a winner, and that's coming from the world champion. Hi everybody, I'm Bruce Jenner, I think it is great here at our first National Sports Museum. They've got all the different sports, including figure skating, which I know a little bit about. Did you see on that show, me do, a waltz, jump, toe loop combination? It was fabulous! And it was the first time I ever competed in puffy sleeves. So, but uh, it was a new experience for me, but uh, I think it's great that they can bring all the sports together and, uh, you know, inspire young people to go out there and uh, be the best they possibly can be. So it's great. Are you going to put on some figure skates in the future? I have in figure skating the shortest professional career in the history of figure skating. It lasted about three and a half months. From the beginning, put, strapping on my first pair of skates so the entire career was over with. And I haven't put a pair of skates on since. Scotty Hamilton keeps asking me, you're going to go skating, and I, I just haven't done it. Yeah, I go with my friends, guys. What are we going to do today? We're going to play golf, or we're going to figure skate? I don't know. I guess we pick golf. Other sports figures attending the evening celebration were New York Giants defensive end Justin Tuck, professional cyclist Allison Dunlap, Olympic gymnast Carrie Strub, champion water skier Camille Duval Hero, and former Knicks Charles Smith, and Earl the Pearl Monroe, accompanied by Mrs. Marita Monroe. I asked Marita what she's looking forward to seeing at the museum. It's wonderful that all these sports are coming together. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to make sure that the women 
have equal space on those walls in there, okay? Because we know how it is. There were plenty of non-sports celebrities attending the event as well, such as current Miss USA Crystal Stewart and model and actress Molly Sims. It seems as though everyone can get behind the idea of the nation's first sports museum. Well, I think it's great that we have a uh, convergence of all the different types of sports because athletes enjoy each other. I mean, we're all like contemporaries. I have um, skating athletes that I like that I know, that I know very well, speed skating, ice skating, everything. And, but, but also every sport, and I think it's great that we have this opportunity to bring everyone together right down here in downtown New York. Okay.